Good morning, everybody. I'm Clockinator, and today I'm going to be Let's Playing Chapter 9, Ephraim Mode of my Fire Emblem Man Reclass hack. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, I did post a video yesterday. It was really stupid, but it was just, uh, what happened was I looked through my folder to Let's Play the ROM, and I didn't have it, which was extremely weird because I should have had it. I did have a backup, which was two months old and didn't have a whole bunch of the new stuff that has been put in there since then, so I decided to let's play with that instead, but it was missing a lot of the key things that I wanted to add to the chapter, like I wanted to make this chapter a lot more difficult, even though it's already one of the bitchiest chapters in the game. But since it was missing all that stuff, I decided to just go ahead and uh, make a fuck around let's play just for once. So today is going to be a serious Let's Play, if you want to call it that. I mean, obviously I do these for comedy purposes, and I don't do these for any reason that's like of a serious nature. Point being, uh, it's more serious today, so without further ado, let's get on with this. Alright, and we begin. Got lots of new characters. Um, because I'm playing on Ephraim mode, I decided that I'm going to uh, I'm going to use characters that I'm not using on Manrika mode. I mean, there's some characters that are probably still going to be a staple of my army. Like uh, I'm still going to use Arter. I want to use Kyle, like on chapters that have more than 11 units available. I'm trying not to use Loot, Garcia, Ford, or Seth for this chapter at the least. Uh, let's see. I went ahead and since I'm not using my other healer, Garcia, I went ahead and abused Vanessa up to the same level as him. Well, okay, so she's a level higher, but you can see these are his stats. And these are hers. Damn. Holy shit. She is so much better than him in every way. I mean, I hardly even had to abuse to get these level ups. I mean, I didn't abuse at all. I wouldn't do that. that that's horrible. <laughs> who would abuse level ups? That's disgusting. Anyone who does that, you should be shot. We've also got Calm, he's a level 12 journeyman, he's doing alright I guess. I mean, he's got 14 speed, he's only level 12, so I guess he's above average. Joshua's okay too, I mean, he could be better, I guess. Ross is just, he's still terrible dude, I mean, he's got lots of speed, but all of his other stats just suck. I'm gonna use Molder too, I don't know why, I mean, I hate this guy so much, but I'm not using him in Manrika mode, so... I think I'm probably just going to drop him at the end of this chapter when I get Tana, and I'll just use her for all the rest of the Ephraim chapters. Anyway, uh, not much else to talk about. Let's get started. Came all this way to help Mephrium. Oh, what a great name, Mephrium. That was actually suggested by someone on the Serene's Forest forums. I want to thank him for that. Yeah, I didn't know what to call Ephraim because I wanted to rename him. I was going with, like... I wanted to go with uh, Ephray, Ephrar, rather. Ephrar, like, kind of like he roars, but... He's really a boring character. He's a mage now, and just, I don't know. Mages are like the most generic class. I mean, he's got great stats all around, but he doesn't really excel in anything. He's below average in three of the main stats, and slightly above in other two, and just average in resistance, so he's just like a really weird mage. Therefore, the name Mephrim is perfect for him. I think I'm probably going to just go ahead and stick with that. So thank you to whoever that was that suggested it. I know I'm, I'm a terrible friend for forgetting your name, but we all make mistakes. Let's talk about enhanced difficulty. All right, so on this chapter, we have this, uh, this priest over here who's a dick. When I was actually Let's Playing this, he wasn't buffed. Now he is. Now he's set up to level 20. He has 18 resistance and 10 magic. So he's got, actually his, his range is the same, but he can put people of pretty much any level to sleep. So much bigger dick than he was before. Anyone with low resistance is going to have like almost 100% chance to be put to sleep. Uh, let's see. Also, I went ahead and I buffed Geb. As you can see, he starts with the Dread Scroll. I gave him a Tomahawk, though. He originally had just Iron and Killer Axe, so with a Tomahawk, he can, uh, he can deal more damage and he can attack 1 to 2 range. Um, I did some other slight buffing all around the place, but I didn't make it too much harder because this chapter is kind of a dick in and of itself. This corridor is a corridor of death, and it is not my favorite chapter. Oh, God, just these, these guys wailing on you, this asshole with the long... Oh, shit, he's got a red gem? I, I never noticed that. I better remember to steal that this time because I don't leave without stealing everything, okay? Anyway. Boosh! Boosh! Nigga, nigga, you ain't gonna touch this. Boosh. Boosh. Calm is nothing but the Boosh Master. That's what his name is. Oh my god, Ephraim. You don't even double? Jesus, at least your sister doubles. 
Deal some more damage. Boosh, motherfu- What?! You fucking missed?! That was the first 90. Oh, hey, we weapon level up. Nice. I'll take that. You could have hit, though, you asshole. Ross, come in from the back row. Use your black and blue power. Blow this man to pieces. Ah! I've always thought Flux looked more like a little miniature nuclear bomb going off. Nami's turning out really nice. She's got lots of great stats all over the place. I mean, she's a level 18, so I'm probably going to be promoting her at the end of this chapter. Unfortunately, she's so good, she's probably gonna break the game, like... The problem with Fire Emblem 8 for me is that it always gets so easy right around this chapter and later ones. I mean, obviously this chapter is hard, but starting immediately after this chapter, it starts getting really easy, and it gets kind of frustrating, because it's not very fun playing an easy game. I much more prefer hard games. Boosh! Oh, shit. Home, you were supposed to... You missed with an 83? What the fuck is up with people missing on this? Oh shit, oh, 53% chance. Ah, I should have known Gilliam would get put to sleep. He got put to sleep so many times in my joke. Oh, he dodged? Huh, that's weird. He got put to sleep so many times in my joke, let's play. That was actually surprising he dodged that. Maybe you have potential. Maybe you won't be such a piece of shit. Although, what am I saying? Gilliam is amazing. He dodges everything. He gets crits all the time. He two-hit KOs pretty much every enemy in the game. Seriously, if you guys don't use Gilliam when you play this, when I release this publicly, I'm gonna hate you. You don't want me to hate you, do you? Oh shit. God damn, dude, you can't double anybody. Let's just fucking use Elfire again. Boosh! Finally hit. Okay, good. At least it was just a phase. At least it was just a phase. Mulder, show me your power. I didn't expect you to hit with a 49. It would have been impressive if you did. It would have really made, uh, would have really made Mephrium look pretty shitty. Keep forgetting, that's his new name. Should not call him by the old one. Calm's true power, he can only hit when he has hundreds. God damn, dude. You fucking, are you a log? Is that what it is? You can't dodge? You have no movement dodging stats? Hey, weapon level. What is it with weapon levels? They're always interrupting me. And they're always B level. Don't you fuck this up. Boosh. Ross, you're okay. I might keep you around. Ah, must get you the healing juices. Bubblegum girl, heal this man. Bubblegum girl, I kind of like the sound of that. That's a real sexy name. That could be a stripper name. I, I, that's not important, never mind. Ignore everything I just said. In fact, pretend I never said it. Miss, oh Jesus Christ, name it. You're back to not dodging again. Oh well, that's to be expected. Hmm, should I chance it? Fuck it, YOLO. Boom. You ain't gonna touch me. Okay, he's gonna touch me. Boom! Oh yeah, Archer, you hit twice. Great, wonderful, 10 out of 10. Best unit ever. Enemy phase two, hopefully nobody will die like Archer. Oh, he dodged. Oh, that's great. Archer, are you sure you're not wielding swords? Because, yeah. Oh, god damn it! quit trying to put Gilliam to sleep. He's my Kawaii Desu love interest. Although if you're gonna put him to sleep, that'll make it easier to take advantage of him later. I mean, what? Wow, I didn't give her a, a fresh iron axe. Oh well, doesn't matter. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? What is with people and missing on this chapter? Okay, if she had missed a second time, I would have been P-I-S-S-E-D. Heist. More stab for Arter, who never misses. Does he? Did he miss in earlier chapters? I can't even remember. But from my more important recollection, he's never missed, and that's that's really all that matters. Shit, I could have really used a restore stave. Why didn't I buy one? Do I not have any? God damn it, Naomi! You oh, you never dodge anything. That was a fucking 38. So far, a 42 and a 38 have connected. This is not looking good. And I know one of these enemies has a horse slayer. Oh, okay. Now you dodge. Okay, good. I start bringing into question your combat capabilities, and then you feel the need to speak up. You ain't gonna touch this. You can't touch me. You can't touch Naomi. <laughs> See what I did there? It's a pun. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Hey, that's good. Oh, come on. Don't put my best unit to sleep. Oh, never mind. Joshua, I will let you take out this lone... Jesus Christ, 12 damage? I guess that's what happens when you don't have any resistance. Come on, Joshua, dodge it. All you need to do is just dodge one of these attacks, and then I can have you, like... Yes! Okay, maybe Joshua isn't so mediocre. Maybe he's actually quite good. 
Boomy! Oh, what the fuck? God damn it, Mephrim. Oh, you're really a Mephrim, dude. Did I, was it that? Are you just mad because I changed your name? Is that why you're treating me like this? That's not even fair, dude. It was, the, it was the fans' votes, okay? I didn't want to name you Mephrim. I wanted to name you Mephrar. That was a really weird lag. Okay. Also, Ross actually hit once with a 41. That's actually kind of impressive. Arter, 95 hit. Stab. Death. It's pretty simple math, really. Arter plus 95 plus stab equals death. I'm learning algebra. <laughs> Lol. Boomer. Kwanger. Oh, shit. God damn it, Namie. What is it with you and 40s? Just everything that's in the 40s always hits. Well, I mean, not always, but, you know, like, 98% of the time, enough to where it's really annoying. Okay, this is a horse slayer. Dodge it. Oh, God, thank God. If she... She actually didn't dodge this once in my last Let's Play, the one that was the joke Let's Play. She actually didn't dodge that once, and she died. It really pissed me off, too, because it's only a 30% chance, which is a really dick move. Joshua, do you think you can dodge this again? Do you, baby? Do you think you can dodge it? Let's try it. Let's try our luck. Do you feel lucky, punk? I feel lucky. I feel lucky. I am not lucky. Little known fact, I'm gonna have to wait until the sleep wears off on both of these guys. At least Gilliam, because Gilliam and uh, Neme are the perfect vanguards for getting through this middle section. Also, Neme has critical HP. I'd better heal her up. Yeah, just like that. Just do a little trading and bam. Neme now has good hand axe and an iron axe. Thank God. This middle section, if you don't have hand axes, is a dick. Okay, so using the door key doesn't allow her to move again. Uh, this is bad. Shit, wait, why do you only have an iron lance? Fuck! Wait, I've got this. I've, I've got this. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Watch this. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a javelin, then I'm gonna trade with you. Yeah, see, this is how you fix up your mistakes. Perfect, 10 out of 10. Now this right here is Amelia. She's got the same stats she did over in Manrika mode. She moves to right here, so by the next turn I should be able to talk to her. She actually does move forward when you open the doors, which is, actually makes it a lot easier to recruit her than, you know, on Manrika mode where she just stands still and you have to kind of bait her or something. Here we go. Here's hoping that nobody dies. Oh, fuck. This could hurt. Boosh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, now you want to hit. Wait till... Oh, God, this guy doubled me. Uh... Uh, that's not good. Okay, we've got a guy with a longbow over here. He could maybe kill Ephraim. Ha! <laughs> you can't touch Gilliam, dude. His defense is as high as the sky. That's right, you guys just stay way back there. Boosh! Oh, fuck. Boosh! There we go, that's what I wanted. That's more like a Gilliam. Would've been better if you got a crit, though, but he never gets range crit. That's one thing I've noticed. Oh, fuck. That was a lot of damage. Oh, hey, now you're doubling Ma Ma Mephrim. I almost said Majorim. That was another suggestion, was Majorim. Uh, it's okay. I didn't really want to make it a boring name like that, though. No offense. Oh, God, this could kill me. N never mind. It kind of tickled a little bit, though. As long as nobody else attacks me. Good. Do you feel it? Do you feel the burn? Oh, shit. I gotta break through you first. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn. Oh, burn, baby, burn. Wait, that wasn't fire. Shit. Yes, I can just barely kill you. Boom. You ain't gonna touch this? Okay, you gonna touch this. Crits. No crits. Don't need crits. Who, can, who needs crits when you've got Gilliam? Gilliam is like a walking crit machine. Amelia, baby, you're all mine. Of course you're not a child. You're a lolly. And that is completely different from being a child. Get your ass back here. Jesus Christ, two damage? What the fuck? That is... God, your stats don't even look all that bad. Maybe it's just because this is such a shitty little Slim Lance. If Slim Lance has penetrative defenses, you'd actually be all right. Of course, that wouldn't make sense. Why would a Slim Lance penetrate defenses? Also, why did I even put a flyer on this level? With all the archers going around, that's just suicidal. Oh, Natasha, you and your ridiculous strength actually dealing out damage to people. It's quite amusing, really. Also, that guy hit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh... Ooh, hey, level up time. Get some defense. You're gonna need it for these archers. Uh, or that. Alright. Well, you know. Okay. Boom! Crits! Crits out the asshole. Thank you, Naomi. Why does she have nine crit? That's weird. That's actually quite a lot. Oh, she's got 17 skill now. 
That, that doesn't explain it, though. I don't know. We'll just say maybe it's a support. Oh, she's got Calm nearby. Yeah, usually I don't bring Calm on levels, so that explains it. Alright, I don't want to kill that Longbow guy. Well, I do, but I don't, so... First, I'll rescue you. Wait. Where... Where... Am I, am I missing something? Oh, she's right there. What the fuck am I doing? Move your fat ass down there. Alright, rescue you. Take. Drop. Boom, baby. Everyone is out of harm's way. I have just com completely destroyed the balance of this chapter. Perfect. Let's end that turn. What more mage is coming? I'm not afraid of you. I've got Gilliam, who does not have a ranged weapon equipped. Not that it matters. He dodges everything. He's the perfect dodge tank. Sailor scouts have amazing dodge abilities. Come on, Nami. Kill this mage off on the next turn. I don't like mages. Even though I just said that they're tri absolutely trivial. They are trivial, but you know, wouldn't hurt to kill them off. Get the crits. Ah, you don't need crits. Okay, this could hurt. You, not me. Ha <laughs> ha. Mephrim doesn't feel pain. Oh shit, time for a level up. Come on, Mephrim, show me your power. Ho oh, ho. How'd you get these good stats again with level ups like that? Wait, Gilliam is not doubling this guy? Oh shit. Let's try it anyway. Crits. No crits. He never crits at range. It's just a fact. Shit, your L fire is getting low on uses. Let's switch to fire. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn. Oh, wait, I already used that joke. It's not really a joke. It's just a song that's kind of related to the word of fire. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, shit, I almost killed that guy off. Let's kill off this fucking priest. I hate priests. Boosh. Wow, Naomi hit twice with a 67. That was lucky. If she'd missed, that priest would have just, you know, gone off to heal this archer dude right here. Okay, I'm not going to kill you off. But I am going to get you down to critical HP. Boosh. Oh, fuck. Ow. Boosh. There we go. He hit once. All right, good enough. Ooh, hey, level up time. Come on, Ross. Get the level up of your dreams. Oh, it's almost close enough. Let's see. Who needs the healing juices? You do, baby. Heal you up. Fire it up. Boosh. Miss, baby. You can't touch Ross. Ross is untouchable. In fact, just the fact that he's untouchable means you can't touch him, because that's what the definition of untouchable is, don't you see? Hey, chest key. Does that open up Tana's chest? <laughs> oh shit, dodge it. Good. Very good, Natasha. I will give you a present later. Oh shit, dodge that. Ow, oh, fuck. Bad, fuck the present. Never mind, I'm keeping it for myself. Ooh, level up. Look at these fucking level ups. God, you are not Garcia, that is for sure. Level ups like these, that's how she got the amazing stats that she has now. Her magic won't exactly tap out, but who gives a fuck? I mean, she's got 15 resistance, so when she gets those stat status staves later on, those will be very useful. Speaking of useful, let's move in there, Gilliam. Show me your power. Destroy this man. Oh, he's even going to have 1 HP extra of damage de dealt to him. I know what I'm saying. Shut up. Leave me alone. Hey, once he gets S rank, he'll get another 5% critical. That'll be nice. I kind of like to think of, uh, of Gilliam as being like the Hal Birdier of Fire Emblem 8. Well, Fire Emblem 8 Man Reclass. I mean, obviously it was Amelia who was the Hal Birdier. She was just really shitty and you didn't get her early enough. Hey, speaking of amazing. You fucker. Come on, Ross. I know you can kill this man. Show me that you are your father's son. Yep, you're definitely your father's son. Enemy phase, I get the feeling something really bad's gonna happen here. I don't know what though. Well, so far, Naomi's dodged, so that's proven me wrong on one account. Ah, uh, Naomi getting seven experience. I can tell you're almost ready for the promotion. Okay, this could hurt. Ah, shit. I hope that mage doesn't kill Ross off. Oh shit, that, that mage could kill him off. Two HP left. That was a close one. God damn it, Ross. Okay, thank you. Fuck. Jesus. I don't mean fuck Jesus. I mean, I love Jesus. Jesus is great, you know? He's like a hipster. He's like the first hippie that ever existed. It's great. Jesus is wonderful. Okay, you hit me last time. Don't you fucking hit me. Lucky. Yeah, last time that guy somehow hit me with 15%, which really pissed me off. You can't touch this? Ross has got the amazing black and blue power. This is wife beater power. That's how he stays alive through everything. Ross, why didn't you double? You better get a good level up here to make up for not doubling. That's all right. I'll give you a 4 out of 10. You know what I just realized earlier was that when she opened up the door, 
because she's a monster, she doesn't have Kanto. That's why she wasn't able to move in. That just occurred to me just now. You know, just leave me alone, okay? Just leave me alone. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think I'm going insane. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Oh yeah, Archer. I'm going to steal that red gem. It's going to be mine. <laughs> Tana, baby, I'm coming for you. You awful, terrible, shitty unit, you. But I'm still coming for you because, you know, I have to recruit all the characters, even the ones that are shittier than Mulder somehow. Which I really find that hard to believe. I mean, Mulder's pretty much a big piece of shit, so the fact that anyone could be worse than him is pretty overwhelming. Wonderful, I'm almost past all the hard parts of this chapter. I really should make a save state at some point. I haven't save stated since the beginning of the chapter, so. Oh my god, a crit! Damn, Gilliam, you're so great! You gonna get that S rank pretty soon? I'd really like it when you got that S rank. You get those crits more often. Your wonderful Keter Tilter Tilt. Oh, Amelia and her shitty weird palette. That's so... So weirdly pink. Like, that doesn't fit a soldier at all. Oh, fuck me. Not another sleep, Seth. Gilliam, you better fucking dodge this. Yeah, Gilliam doesn't like Skittles. He rejects your Skittles. Hey, a dorky. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Which one of my characters had the chess key? That's what I want to know. You got the chess key? You got the chess key? Oh, hey, thanks for moving right next to me, Archer. Thanks. Make that really easy for me to steal. What a wonderful bro. Did you see that? He just handed me that red gem, basically. What a great guy. I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> Payback's a bitch. If these two up here move and attack him before this guy tries to put him to sleep, because if that guy manages to put him to sleep, then, you know, Gilliam can't attack back, then he's just at the complete mercy of those enemies. You know, why am I even bringing Amelia up front? Amelia sucks. She can just stay back. I don't even like her. Get out of here, Amelia. Nobody, nobody wants you. Stupid Amelia. Amelia Earhart, she should just disappear. You ain't gonna touch this. Oh, fuck. Oh, you didn't double? Jesus, Namie. You could have done better than that. Oh, good, they're gonna attack before that sleep staff guy attacks, so perfect. Gilliam, put this man out of his misery. Oh, yeah. Just kill this guy, just fucking splatter blood and guts everywhere. Ra rated M game. Rated M game, not rated M gum. I don't even know what rated M gum would taste like. Post it in the comments if you know what rated M gum would taste like. Doesn't matter if you put me to sleep now, nigga. Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to do anything. He already killed off everybody up north. See? What a waste. Just wasted your healing staff. I mean, sleep staff. Doesn't really heal. I mean, if it did. Amelia's going off to fly off to fall into the Pacific Ocean somewhere, hopefully. Shit, if I can kill this guy off, he won't be able to put any of my other units to sleep. Who is perfect for this job? Ross with his 58%. Or maybe Ross with his... Never mind. Okay, looks like it's down to Ross. I'm gonna save state. I'm gonna trust the odds. Show me your power, Ross. That was not it. Uh, time to RNG abuse, LOL. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, I am so sorry you had to see that. That is a really old save state. That is a really old save state. That was like at the beginning of Man Reclass. I didn't even know I had that. Boom, finally. Wow, I only had to burn one RN. That's great. That's wonderful. That saves me some time. Any of these guys got swords? You got a sword? All lances, motherfucker. You guys ain't got nothing on me. Okay, this? This might hurt. Oh, never mind. 11 damage. That's actually quite a lot. Joshua, you need more defense. In fact, this would be the perfect time to get some defense. Or not. Oh, well, you know, speed. Alright, that's fine. You know, speed's a great stat. Let's you double... Oh, Jesus, I forgot all about Neme versus the Killing Edge guy up here. Ooh, if he'd critted, that could have uh, actually killed her. Miss. Oh, I knew you'd miss. Colm is so great. Especially when he's got his beloved, uh... What's her name again? Oh, that's right, Neme is all the way up there to the top left. Well, never mind, I guess she's nowhere nearby. She's a very unfaithful woman. Oh, three damage. Oh, it hurts so bad. Please, no. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Please stop. Please make the pain stop. See, that, that's sarcasm, guys. That's sarcasm. Speaking of sarcasm, this is going to miss, of course. And Ross is going to hit twice, or once. Well, once is good enough. Because he can attack on the next turn for two more attacks, so... Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? You moved? He fucking charged in! Oh, God. Good thing he's attacking my thief. You fucking move? Prime, you motherfucker. Did you do that? Did I do that? Did I accidentally change his AI? I was just buffing him. I didn't want to change his AI. Oh, God. Oh, that's going to make the chapter more interesting. What would the chapter be like if Geb charged at people and tried to instantly murder them? Well, 
It'd be a fucking lot harder, that's what it would be. Okay, you... Um, let's see, how can I kill you off more of the most efficiently? And more importantly, how do I avoid Geb murdering my face? I'm gonna get that Dread Scroll no matter what, so if I could just kill him off, that'd be good. Any flux down here? Any, anything that drops? Oh, you've got an Axe Reaver. And it's a Seized Throne chapter, so if I kill the boss early, I can still get that Axe Reaver. Let's see, um... Well, first off, you've got to go up north and get these chests. That's what's, that's what's most important right now. I don't trust the odds here, because if that guy crits, he will instantly kill me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking save state. That's what I'm gonna do. And I know you think I'm a terrible person for doing it, even if it lags the game ridiculously. Don't you fucking miss. Actually, it doesn't really matter if you miss, because I would have just abused it, because I'm a terrible human being like that. One more turn, Tana, I'll get you out of there, eventually. Alright, let's see how much damage you can do. Whoa! -ho -ho! 6 to 22. Ugh. Oh god, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. All right, Ross, uh, let's not uh, let's not have you go toe to toe with Geb. How about you, Calm? Can you do it? Whoa, no. How about you, Joshua? Of course not. All right. What about you, Ephraim? Uh Uh I'm going to say no. All right. So we'll just have to wait for Naomi to get back over here. Speaking of which, I better get you up there to heal her. Ross goes up front where he can do more killing and maybe get some more good level ups. Or shitty level ups. Alright. Well, you know. Guess he needed more skill. Wouldn't hurt to be able to hit more often considering he misses so much. That was sarcasm, by the way. He actually seems to never miss, even though he's got the lowest hit rates in my entire army. Ooh, a steel lance. That's so deadly. I will equip fire, which will make you lose a lot of hit rate against me. Oh shit. I should have stuck with my other one. That would have killed you in two hits. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, Mephram, don't you, uh, don't you fucking die, please. I I'm serious, don't die. It'd be really bad for me if you died right now. How much damage can you do, lol? Let's not do that. Let's see how many people die on this turn. I'm guessing Mephram's gonna be the first one to go. That was a terrible decision, putting my mage up front. Even if it is someone as meh as Mephram. Okay, Mephram, don't you fucking, don't you fucking die right here. So far, it looks like nobody's going to attack him at range, but I could be wrong. Ah, good. Nobody's going to attack him at range. This is wonder- Oh, son of a bitch. Miss! Oh! Oh, my heart's a-fluttering. My heart's a-fucking-fluttering. Fucking and fluttering. That's what it's doing. God, look at all these fucking cavaliers. Did they just spam these? Were they just, like, going through in the event editor and just like, Oh, I think I'll throw down some cavaliers. That'll make the game interesting. LOL. And Tana unleashes her mighty powers onto the battlefield. I'm just kidding. She's so terrible. Let's deal another seven damage. Blah. How'd you like that? Oh, I bet you didn't like that very much. It's because Mulder's such a badass. Oh, look at those stats. Steel axe, oh death. Okay, he missed. So I give you a hand axe and you're hit with 56s all the time, but as soon as I give you a steel axe and you have an 80% chance you miss. What an asshole. See how much damage she does. Oh, god damn, Geb. You're going down, motherfucker. Oh my god, she fucking criticaled? Neme, you are a goddess among women. May you spit for thousands of children. In fact, she's probably going to get the kill on him, get the final level up of the chapter, and be able to promote on the next chapter. That's great. God, getting through this fucking wall of cavaliers is one of the slowest going processes I've ever done in my entire life. Do these guys ever stop coming? I mean, I suppose if I just put, you know, one of my super strong units up front, then... It wouldn't be so much of an issue, but whatever. Hey, call him. Level up time. Get some good stats. Fuck you. Blech. I want all of you to just die already. I need to hurry up and get through this wall of fucking flesh. And yes, that was a Terraria reference. If you got that, you're a real bro. All right, we're going with an Iron Lance, motherfucker. That's Archer's best weapon. Oh. Oh. He's going to do it now. Boom. Okay, well, it's his best weapon one out of every two hits. And another level up. God, level up's like crazy on this chapter. That's actually a pretty good level up. I'll take that. It's better than, you know, the last four I've gotten. All right, you're going to die, man. You've got nothing on naming. God, he hit twice with 48. That's actually pretty good. That's not pos. What, that's not your passe? Yeah. He knows all about passe. If you've ever played Geb Effie. Oh, hey, here we go. Final level up. Make it count. Oh, that counted. That's great. She hit double digits with resistance. And she got the Dread Scroll. It went right to her, man. It went right to her. She can use it right now. 
In fact, I probably will use it right now. Look at these stats. God damn, that is a nice promotion. Mel doing, yeah, she's got lots of movement now. Eight movement. Still no Kanto, but... Wait, what? Oh, okay. S rank and axes. I guess that makes sense. Also, A rank and bows. That's going to be helpful. Considering I don't, I literally have exactly zero bow users right now. Um, hmm, someone's going to be able to put those long bows to good use, especially with stats like these. Yeah... Maybe I'm, I'm really liking where you went, so 10 out of 10 right there. Gilliam woke up. He used Iron Lance. It was super effective. All right, what's in this chest? Oh, that's right, it's money. Yeah, 2,500 gold can buy me so many Skittles with that. What's up, motherfucker? Got Mulder in here dealing out his major damage. Oh. Oh. All right, Tana, you get in there. You can trade with him and, like, take his javelin and... Uh, the steel sword. God, these all waste so much. Of course, when you're a Molder the Boulder and you've got so much, you know, fucking con, you can lift anything in the game. Bro, did you even lift? Yeah, he totally lifts, bro. Oh, this guy totally lifts. Ross, do it! Bam, bitch! You're fucked up. Oh, yeah. Bet you didn't like that. I mean, I'd hope he didn't like that. If he liked that, that'd make it really weird. Also make the family reunions really uncomfortable. Oh shit, I nearly moved him in there. I forgot about that archer. Oh, a short bow. Really? That's not even scary. I've got 11 defense, motherfucker. Come and take me on if you dare. Although I guess comboed with this archer, that would actually be a really bad idea. Okay, I will not be doing that then. Oh yeah, attack my axe user real smart. Oh shit, he's got a fucking axe reaver, son of a bitch. You're a cunt, you know that? I totally forgot about that fucking axe reaver. Ha, dodged. My brown bones allow me to melt into a pile of shit and duck to dodge everything. It's wonderful. Speaking of pile of shit. Oh, wow, that was actually the best level up I think I've ever seen him get naturally. And I didn't even have to abuse it. Okay, uh, I think Joshua's going to die. Uh, he better not die. Joshua, don't, don't you fucking die. Dodge it. Oh my god, the luckiness on this chapter. The fucking luckiness. Oh god damn it, I fucking just attacked this guy on instinct. I forgot about the fucking axe reaver. Shit, he's only got 3 HP. God damn it. Where's my fucking sword users? Oh, that's right. Loot isn't on this chapter. Alright, magic users, go, go. Yeah, fuck you. I got flux, bitch. And Ross doubles with a 92. Of course, if it were Ephraim, I know he might miss, because Ephraim just terrible at hitting. Hey, level up time. Come on, Ross, baby. Show me why I love you so much. Fuck you. Can't quite get to that chest on this turn. Oh, well. I'm just going to have Ephraim solo this guy. No big deal. Little itty-bitty armor slayer ain't going to do shit, because Mephraim's not a fucking armor anymore. Wait, he never was. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Time for a level up. Let's watch this bitch level up. Uh, okay, well. Okay, defensiveness. He can survive a little bit longer. It's fine. Aren't you getting better level ups earlier? That's how you got all these okay stats? I could have sworn you were done better, doing better than that. Oh yeah, Ocean Seal, man. Guess who that's going to? I have uh, no idea. Oh, a, a thief or a pirate? Fuck it, it's going right to Natasha. What level are you? 13? Shit, I could probably promote her right now. In fact, I probably will. Well, maybe not right now. Maybe in a, a chapter or two. Who knows? Who can predict these things? Not bad for stats. All right, she's a rogue now, but did you see that fucking hilarious battle? Uh, that battle sprite? Yeah, Fuzz94 hasn't done promotions yet. In fact, I'm not even sure if he's uh, doing them anymore. I hope he is, but I haven't heard about, back from him in a while about that, so hopefully we can keep getting more palettes. We've been doing this on a chapter-by-chapter -chapter basis up to this point. This guy has a lot to say. This 
guy really has a lot to say. He can't say why he can't say. That is one of the hardest chapters in the game. Uh, I actually got through it with no deaths this time, maybe because I had a practice run with my other Let's Play. It's a fun chapter, though. I really like it. So without further ado, Clockinator, and I'm clocking out.